honor, glory, and praises to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Thanking Him for another opportunity to get it right, to prove ourselves worthy before His great, terrible, notable day. Today's class topic is the love of money has destroyed the Israelite mind. The love of money has destroyed the Israelite mind. Who's out in that world, man? Everything be fine and dandy until a brother start running on his funds. You could be dwelling amongst your brother. Everything could be good. Let a man, let a woman start running low on their funds. It's not the paper that's evil, it's the love for it. That's right. Your brother and your sister will cross you for it. But the love of money it puts a covetous spirit on our people. It puts a covetous spirit on us as a people. Yeah. It does. The love of money, the love of money destroys the Israelite mind. Let me tell you something. The very from the very foundation, from the very beginning, our God told us what has told us, gave us instructions on what we must do so that we may have good success. Right. Our Father gives it to us point blank. He tells us what we must do to obtain good success so that we may prosper. That's right, right. Give me Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. Psalms, chapter 37, verse 4. The book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 4. Read. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Oh, our Father commands us to do is to delight ourselves in Him. Right. Read. And He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. He will heart. do what? He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. He will, not, he will not only take care of us, but give us the desires of our heart. That's right. Just keep our minds on Him. That's right. Just keep our minds on Him. But let me tell you something, that love for that money, worshiping the, cre the creation more the creator, it has destroyed our minds. Right. Our brother, our, our sisters and our brothers, they'll do anything out there for that money. Right. They'll do anything. That's right. Even if it's killing their own brother. Right. He went down their own sister. Right. They'll do anything for that money. But the love of money has destroyed our minds as a people. It destroyed us. Give me Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 But our God told us what we must do Read this The book of Joshua Chapter 1 Verse 8 Read This book of the law Shall not depart Out of thy mouth Lord you won't have good success and prosper in everything you do he says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. What he told us to do? Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. What if you want the success? Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You want to be succeed. You want to, you want to succeed. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You want to prosper. Thou shalt meditate therein day Day and night. And all our father told us to do is meditate in his word day and night. Read. Right. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written so, therein. So we may observe to do according to all that is written therein. That's right. Read. For then. For what? For then. For what? For then. For then. Read. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. That's the only way our, our ways will be prosperous. This is be telling this to our sons. Sons, you want to succeed in life? Meditate on the words of your God day and night. Okay. Meditate on it day and night. And do it. That's right. And do it. That's right. Read. And then thou shalt have good success. He said, For then will you have good success. For then we make our ways prosperous. He, he gives us the key. He gives a solution. He gives us what to do so that we may succeed and become prosperous. That's right. Now. Uh, people have, uh, but us as a people, we have been separated from our gods. We have been separated from our God. We have been separated. Give me Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Start at verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Read. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. 
that it cannot say. Neither his ears heavy, that it cannot hear. Read. But your iniquity. But are what? But your iniquity. Read. Have separated between you and your God. We have been separated from our God due to our iniquities. Our mindset here. Our mindset separates us from our God. That's right. It is our mindset. The one thing we hold we hold on here in this captivity is that money with that, that white man face on it. Bring it out. We and we love it. We love it. Is there a time to return back to our God? Because we have been separated. We have been separated. We think the only way to get good success is to be a good slave. Mm. A good servant. Mm. The only way to prosper is to be a good servant. Bring it out. But our God told us, man. Go back to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. He tells us what to do. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Read that again. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do accordingly to all that is written therein. Read. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And then we shall have good success. It's easy, Israel. I'm telling you one thing about this walk, the easiest things are the hardest things to do. That's right. It's to be the easiest things to be the hardest things to do. Our God, if it's working, he gave us strict orders on what a man must do that we may, uh, may obtain the success he tells us what to do, the way that, the way that we may obtain the prosperity. But we've been separated from our God. And guess what? We, we started to love and serve that creation, that creation more than the Creator Himself. That's right. Up. Give me Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. Read. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God. So when you actually do, meditate on his word day and night and keeping it cold heartily, carrying out, carrying it out, but the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God. Read. And there shall no torment touch them. Yeah, he tells us what to do. Keep his word in your mind and meditate on it and do it. That's right. And do it. That's right. It's too hard for our people. Our minds are way too gone. We're going to get into it today. A lot of people will do anything for that money. They'll do anything for that paper. That's right. They'll do anything. Bring it up. Give me Matthew 6 and 33. Matthew 6 and 33. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. Read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. But seek ye first the what? The kingdom of God. Read. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. And all these things shall be what? Shall be added unto you. All he's telling us to do is seek his face. Seek his face. Seek his word. Seek his face. And everything will be added unto us. But we have departed as a nation. We have departed. We have departed. And this is why. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 12. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 30. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 30. Double go Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 30. Take heed to thyselves that thou be not snared by following them. We begin to follow all these other nations. Once we have been, once we have been separated from our God, once they took our mind, took our mind as being Israelites. I don't think we got to follow these heathen, man. To follow everybody around about us. Once they take our minds, guess what? We sit back and we walk around like the blind. Like the blind. And what do we do? Read that again, huh? Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. We become snared by following the other nations. That's right. The ways of the heathen. Read. After that, they be destroyed from before thee, 
And that thou inquire not after their gods. And that thou inquire not after their what? After their gods. Not after their what? After, after their, their gods. gods. Money is a god here in Babylon. That's right. That paper is a god. <laughs> that they'll do anything for it. Bring that up. They'll do anything for it. That thou, that thou inquire not after their God, saying, Read. Say, how did these nations serve their gods? Even so. Even what? Even so. Read. Will I do likewise? Even so will I do what? I will do likewise. Even so will I do likewise. Even so will I do likewise. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. My brothers out there said, even so will I do likewise. Even so will I do likewise. Read this. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Read. For the love of money. For the what? For the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil. When that money came into play, it put a covetous spirit on us as a nation. That's right. An envious spirit on us as a nation. A covetous, envious spirit. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Read. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Read. And pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Give me this first video. Look, look what the love of money has did to our sons. Pierce through with many sorrows. Yeah, a lot of niggas hate coming on my motherfucking rich gang and shit. You niggas keep trying to test me. I keep trying to test me. Keep trying to see if I'm under the fire and shit. But anyway, you know what's going to be a take out on World Star and say, yeah, Burn Man fuck me. He fucked me in the ass for the deal. I'm going to be real. Burn Man fuck me for the deal, man. I suck Burn Man dick. Rich gang. This shit on my motherfucking face. That's all I want. Man. Gang, but I That's all I want. That's all I want. The, the love of money. Has put a covetous, envious spirit on us as a nation. That's right. A, co a covetous, envious spirit on the nation. And there's nothing worse than that. That's there's right. nothing worse than that. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 14. Matter of fact, let's get the law first. Give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Exodus 20, verse 17. Chapter of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's that, house. Thou shalt not do what? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. So guess what? You're not, not, you're not never, no longer satisfied with your portion. Guess what? You envy and you hating on what the next man got. Bring it up. You wanting what the next man got. He said, thou shalt not do what? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Read. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Read. Nor his man servant, nor his maid servant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Just covet the spirit, man. Everybody, when we was out there in the world, go out there in the hood. It's cloaked. The, the people, minds are cloaked with the covetous end of spirit. Trying to outdo their fellow brother. Sister trying to outdo her fellow sister. One of the things that they got, one of the things that she got, the, cup, the, the love of that money has put a covetous, envious spirit on us as a people. Bring it up. It's ultimately destroyed our minds. Ultimately destroyed our minds. That's right. Give me Romans. Matter of fact, give me Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14. Let's get more on that covetous spirit. Start of verse 4. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 14, verse 4. Read. He that gathered by defrauding his own soul. He that gathered by defrauding his own soul. Our brothers and sisters out there, they gather by defrauding their own soul. Right. Selling their own soul. Read. Gather it for others that shall spend his goods right. Riotously. Riotously. Read. He that is evil to himself to whom will be be good. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Bring that up. Everybody know who they worried about they self. 
A problem is not a problem to little fix them. That's right. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Ain't no good being doing. Ain't no good being doing in the nation. Because guess you what? Know. We are, our people, our people, we are evil to our savers. Read. He shall not take pleasure in his good deeds. I mean, forgive me. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. God said, there is none worse than he that envieth himself. There is none worse than a man that hate himself because somebody doing better. That's right up. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. There is none worse than a sister they hate herself because her other sister's doing better. Or she got a husband. There is none worse than he, a person that envies their self. Because if you do evil to yourself, to whom will you do good? Bring that up. There's none worse than a person that hates himself due to what somebody else got. That's what's running right. rampant in, in, in our nation. People out there envying their self. All about self. Jeez. All about self. But read on. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. Read. And if he do it good. And, 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 and when they do do good, read. He do it it unwillingly. They do it the unwillingly, man. They do it the unwillingly. Read. And at the last he will declare his wickedness. And at the last he going to show his true colors. At the last he going to show his true colors. Read. The envious man hop a wicked eye. The what? The envious man hop a wicked eye. So the envious man, the covetous man, the covetous sister, the covetous brother, they having wicked eye. That's right. It's, it's, it's the love of that money that's destroyed our mind. It says, but the, the envious man hath a wicked eye. Read. He turneth away his face. And despiseth men. And despise of what? And despiseth men. Maybe that brother and sister that this this is despising their own brother and sister. Talking down about their own brother and sister. Even their own brother and sister. Murmuring about their own brother and sister. That's right. That is the spirit of an envious person. That's, right. That's an envious man or woman. Right. Envious. Read. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with this portion. Said so a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with this portion. And the love of that money, the love of that success, that put on that perception, and it destroyed our minds. So the cup of this man, I was not satisfied with this portion. Bring it up. Instead of appreciating the husband that she do got, she hating on the husband that she's her sister with. Instead of that brother appreciating and cherishing the wife that he do got, his eye is covered his towards his brother's wife. Hey. Instead of being thankful for the things that he do got, the blessings that he do got, He's cuffed as oh, what the man that's doing better than what he do have. He not being satisfied and grateful about this one acre. His eye covered to his brother because he got 12 acres. Right. He said a covetous man's eyes not satisfied with this portion. And I'm telling you, that's running rampant in Israel, man. Mm. That is running rampant in Israel. It is a love of money that put these spirits on these people, man. That covered this envy and spirit. That covered this envy and spirit. They cover this man's eyes not satisfied with this portion. You see a people that's always complaining, always negative. Hey, because they cover this man. They're not satisfied with their portion. Read. And the iniquity of the wicked dryeth up his soul. And the iniquity of the wicked dryeth up his soul. You see that brother that just came in here, man. Look what he just said. He was willing to lay down with another man just for that money, man. Just for that money. Mm. Go down on another man simply for money. I'm telling you, the love of money has destroyed our minds as a nation. That's right. Because we're willing to do anything for it. Because we're willing to do anything. Bring it up, Give me yeah. Romans chapter 1 verse 25. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who did what? Who changed the truth 
of God into a lie. Who really changed the truth of God to a lie? Who changed it? Look around the Israel, it's still about money. Ain't nothing changed, man. Ain't nothing changed. It's still about money, man. But we're going to get that. Who changed the truth of God to a lie? Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. What do our people have to do? Worship the creature more than the creator. What do our people have to do? Worship the creature more than the creator. I tell you, man. Pull up on my old man, man. Guess what? We're all worried about his car, his clothes, and the money, man. Nothing about God. Granny, same thing. They status here in Babylon. Cars, the houses, the clothes. Who took the truth of God to a lie? That we are the true Israelites. Put here to serve him. That's to keep right. his commandments. That's right. Who took the truth of God to a lie? And start to worship the what, bro? And start to serve the creator more than the I mean the creature more than the creator. Destroy the creature more than the creator, man. That's all our people care about is that money. All they care about. It's all they care about. They worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Read. Who is blessed forever? Who is what? Who is blessed forever? Give me First Corinthians chapter five verse eleven. Step up first Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Read. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Give me first, start of verse 10. Verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every man, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 10. Read. Yet not altogether with the fornicators. So it says, I write to you in an apostle, not to company with fornicators. Read. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world. Read. Or with the covetous. Or with the what? Or with the covetous. Read. Or extortioners. Read. Or idlers. For then must ye needs go out of the world. Read on. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. Not to do what? Not to keep company. I tell you, you see a brother and sister in the Indian covets the spirit. Our God tells us not to even keep company with them. Bring it out. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. Read. If any man that is called a brother. Read. Be a fornicator. Be a what? Be a fornicator. Read. Or covetousness. Or what? Or covetousness. Or covetousness, man. Or covetousness. Or covetousness, man. The souls of man think of so is he. A person will be known by their words. Sit back and listen to what a person say. Is it positive or is it negative all the time? Bring it out. Sit back and actually listen to what a person says, man. But now I have written it to you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or what? Or covetousness. Or covetousness. Or covetousness. And the person is known by their fruits. Sit back and listen. Listen to what a person says, man. Read. Or an editor. Read. Or a reller. Or a drunkard. Or an extortioner. With such in one, no, not to eat. With such in one, no, not to eat, man. Separate yourselves, Israel. Separate yourselves. It's imperative that we separate ourselves. It's imperative. But give me, go back to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 10. Read. For the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Read. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Read. And pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But pierced themselves with many sorrows. And let's get, give me the second video. Give me the second video. So, Who's out there in that world? These are, these are, this, this is one of our, some of our brothers and our sisters' idols. But look how the love of the money has done to this Israelite man's mind. 
or what he did for a player. Turn it up, bro. Listen to the words, man. Look how destroyed our minds to become as a people. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never touched each other. I'm going to do you like baby than me. Yeah. That's all right. That's it, man. That's all I want on that, man. That's all I want. I'm trying to show Israel what the love of money has done to us as a nation. That's right. As a people, man. Teach that. Our brothers and our sisters are willing to do anything. Bring it up. What our God told us what to do from the beginning. That's right. Told us what to do, what we must do from the beginning. Let's see what, what extreme length would a man go through. Give me Matthew chapter 26, verse 15. Matthew chapter 26, verse 15. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 15. Read. And said unto them, What will ye give me? Start at verse 15. First, verse 14. Verse 14. Read. Then one of the twelve called Judas. Iscariot went unto the chief priest. So this is, so everybody understand the story about Christ. Judas Iscariot. Read. And said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. So he asked him and said unto them, What will they give him so that he may deliver Christ? And this is a spirit. Understand. How many people out there, man? Brothers, friends, brothers, family. That when, it, when that, that money got between you. Bring it up. How many friendships have you lost behind that money? Bring it up. How many people have you lost in your life behind that money? The same spirit here today. That's right. Same spirit here today. Read that again. And he said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. Read. And they covered him. With him for thirty pieces of silver. For how much? For thirty pieces of silver. For how much? For thirty pieces of silver. For little to nothing, man. For little to nothing. For little to nothing, man. For little to nothing. All for that love, that money. I'm telling you, be your own people. Our minds have been destroyed simply for that love of that money, man. That's right. The love of that money. Read. And from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. From that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. Oh. But I was out there in that world, man. Own oh, brother called my close friend, man. Guess what? Times get hard. Instead of being a true brother, a true friend, man, that love or that money caused people to do wickedness, man. That's right. Caused them to do evil. Hey. Going in the way of Cain. Tell us that that love of that money, the love of that money, can destroy the Israelite mind. That's right. It's a love. It's the love of that money. Give me Matthew chapter six, verse nineteen. The book of Matthew, chapter six, verse nineteen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Said God, said lay, lay not up yourselves treasures on this earth. That's right. It's all our people worried about laying up treasures on this earth. But like, why not? But read. Where moth and rust do it corrupt. Read. And where thieves break through and steal. Read on. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. We got to stop being worried about this things here on this earth and start laying up ourselves treasures in heaven. That's right. But the Israel tell it, man, we still have the desires of the ungodly. Mm. You still have the desires of the ungodly on us, man. Money holds cars clothes. That's all we know. That's right. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta cleanse our minds, Israel. Cause guess what? In order to obtain that, I'm telling y'all, people would do wickedness, or raw evil. Read. Where neither moth nor rust do it corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Read on. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. For for where your treasure is, there will our heart be also. Read. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body 
shall be full of light. But we don't. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Shall be what? Shall be full of darkness. Read. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters. Understand, Israel, we can't serve two masters, man. We can't serve two masters. That's right. Some of us put that job, put that money before our God. Dude. Some of us love that money so much we don't even want to pay alms. Bring that up. Penny pitching in the truth. Forgetting all that our God has brought us through. But guess what? We're still holding on to that money. Dude. Still holding on. Read. For either he will hate the one and love the other. For either he will hate the one and love the other. We hate being service to that paper. We hate it. Either we hate the one or love the other. Read. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Read. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Do what? Take no thought for your life. That's what all I do is worry about their life. Taking thought in their own selves, their own lives. Read. What ye shall eat, read, or what ye shall drink, read, nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than me. Is not our life more than me? I'm telling you, man, our people sell their life for it. That's the spirit of Esau, man. That's right. That's the spirit of Esau. That's right. Read. And the body, then Raymond, behold the powers over the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Read. Nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. But yet our father still feed them. That's right. Read. Are you not better than that? Are we not better than that, man? Bring it up. Are we not better than that? That we got a gospel to buy for us? Read. But guess what? We have began to serve that money, man. It's that love of that money. How you gonna love when your God, he, he's, he's telling us that he'll provide it for us. That's right. Guess what? Our people, they are there to choose that money. Choose that money if they master. Become slaves to it. And they'll do anything to get it, man. Bring it out. Because the love of that money is the root of all evil. That's right. It's that money. So read. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Read. And why? Take it ye thought for Raymond. Why do we take of ye what? Thought for Raymond. Read. Consider the lilies. Of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. Read. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Read. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Shall he not much more do what? Clothe you. Do what? Hold you, you read or ye of little faith. That's the problem is our people got little faith in their God. That's right. That is the problem. We have little faith in our God. That's right. Lean on him and he's gonna provide for us. But guess what? Our people, we wanna lean on our own understanding, man. As a nation, we still leaning on our own understanding. Before we got knowledge of the truth, we was leaning on our own understanding. That's right. Time to put our faith in the most high in his son. Read on. Therefore, take no thought, say, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Read. For after all these things, do the Gentiles see. Do the what? Do the Gentiles see. All of the Israelites still, still walking after the heathen, uncircumcised Israelites walking around, man. Those the Gentiles do. That's right. Worry about your clothes, worry about the money. Those are the Gentiles do, man. Trying to set up treasures in this earth instead of setting their treasure in heaven. Coveting. Envying. Read. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Oh God, no, we need all these things, man. Why do we love the money so much? Read on. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Read on. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought 
for the things of itself. Read. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. I tell you. Word about that money, word about the things that the Gentiles get so you like to get put out tomorrow and what is gonna profit you? Bring what is it gonna profit you? What is it gonna profit you? Give me Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 14 and verse 12. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 14 verse 12. Remember that death will not be long in the coming. Remember Israel that death will not be long in the coming man. It won't. You can't take it. You can't take it. You can't take it with us. That's right. Read. And that the covenant of the grave is not showed unto thee. Do good unto thy friend before thy die. Do what? Do good unto thy friend before thy die. Read. And according to thy ability, stretch out thy hand and give to him. And do what? And give to him. The problem with Israel, man, we don't like to give. Give me Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. The love of that money causes also not only to be covetous and envious, but also selfish, man. That's right. Selfish. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. The book of Acts chapter 20, verse 35. I have showed you all things. How that so laboring ye ought to support. Matter of fact, stop the verse 33. Verse 33. Read. I have coveted no man, silver or gold or apparel. You offer you in the spirit, man. This is how your mind should be. Covet no man's silver or gold. Nothing that somebody else got. But then why? Read. Yea, you yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities. Because your hands supposed to be ministering to the necessities of your shot. That's right. Read. And to them that were with me. And you're supposed to be ministering to them that are round about you, to his sheep of his pastor. That's right. Read on. I have showed you all things. How that so laboring, ye ought to support the weak. We labor to do what? To support the weak. We labor to do what? To support the weak. No, nah, support ourselves. To support the weak. No, nah, the meats of our own bellies. To support the weak. To support the weak that's about around about you. Read. And to remember the words of the Lord, Yahweh, how he said. And what did he say, Yahweh? It is more blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. That's right. Everybody got their hand out, man. Everybody got their hand out. Because guess what? This is the love of that money, man. That's right. It's the love. It's the love for it. Nobody want to take an L. But they say when they sit back with their hand out with a covetous, envious spirit. Teach, yeah. But covetous, envious spirit, man. A covetous, envious spirit. Give me a please to ask these. Ecclesiastes. First, chapter 3, verse 20. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 20. Read. All go unto one place, or all are of the dust, and all turn to the dust. And all turn again. to the what? All turn to the dust again. We all go into one place. Right. All of us are the dust, and all shall turn to the dust again. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 15. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 15. As he came forth, as his mother's womb, I mean, shall I? as he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return. Naked shall we do what? Naked shall he return. Naked shall we return. Read. Right. To go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor. And shall do what? And shall take nothing of his labor. Israel, no matter all the money, the riches, we ain't gonna take nothing to that grave. Right. Understand that we ain't gonna be able to take nothing with us to that grave, man. Right. We all gotta die one day. How can we sit there and, and have a love for that money like that, man? I'm like, God gonna provide for us. That's He's right. gonna make a way. But we right. still wanna lean on our understanding. See what I lean on our own understanding. <clears throat> we all come out our mother's womb naked and shall return to the dust naked. Right. Read. Which he may carry away in his hand. And shall take nothing of his labor which he may carry away in his land. In his, in his hand. Carry nothing away in our hand. 
Give me uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, with, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Read. Set your affections on the things above. That's what the set of our affection on the things <clears throat> above. Read. Not on things of the earth. Not on what? Not on things of the earth. I'm telling you, Israel, mm -hmm. that's how we understand. People still set their affection on things of this earth. Can't take none of it with us. That's and right. it's all vanity. That's right. All vanity. But this life we live here is short and tedious, man. That's right. Read. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ and God. Our life must be hid with Christ with God. Read. When Christ who is our life, shall appear. Then shall he also appear with him in glory. Read on. Modify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness. Read. An, an inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. Read. Evil concupiscence and covetousness. Evil concupiscence and covetousness. Which is adultery. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. When we do these things operating in spirit, guess what, Israel? The wrath of God will soon come upon us. Soon come upon us. Read. In the which ye also walk at some time, when ye live in them. But now ye also put up all these anger. But now ye also, we also have put up all these, man. These are the spirits that came with with us in this truth out in that world, we need to put these spirits off of us. Read. Anger. Read. Wrath. Malice. Blasphemy. Filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. With his what? With his deeds. Read. And have put on the new man. It's time for us to put on the new man. Read. Which is renewed. And knowledge after the image of him that created him. Time was to put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Time for to circumcise our minds, man. Because the world has taught us to love that money. And we all know that the love of money is the root of all evil, man. That's right. It's the root of all evil. Give me Galatians 5 and 24. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. With the affections and lust, man. Once you come into this truth, man, we don't no longer serve that money no more. That's right. We don't no longer love that money, man. We All that went out the window. That's right. Because you got a God that's going to provide for you, man. You got a God that's going to provide it for you. Dude. And they that are Christ are crucified for flesh with affection and lust. Read. If we, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Read. Let us not be desirous of vainglory. Love and money, that's vain glory. Read. Right. Provoking one another. Read. Envying one another. Doing what? Envying one another. Doing what? Envying one another. I'm telling you, go out there, man. We was bred, we was programmed to be covetous and envious towards one another. That's right. For you truly have crucified the flesh in Christ, you put off those, you put off those affection and lust. Become that new person. Yeah. Walking in newness of spirit. Walking in newness of spirit, man. Give me Galatians. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Read. But if ye bite or devour one another. What does the love of that money do to us as a nation? But if ye bite and devour one another. We begin to bite and devour one another. Bring it out. We begin to bite and devour one another. Read. Take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Read. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. Do what? Walk in the spirit. Read. And ye shall not fulfill 
The lust of the flesh. You won't fulfill the lust of that flesh, man. That's right. Walking the spirit, money is nothing to you. That's right. But a tool. That's right. You begin to walk in the spirit, you'll be able to understand that this money is nothing but a tool. That's right. right. And that God's gonna get go. He, he, he's gonna allow you to prosper simply because you're walking in the spirit. Jeez, he's gonna give you good success simply because you're walking in the spirit. You don't have to love. We don't longer have to love and serve that money, man. That's right. Cause that puts a evil, wicked, envious, covetous spirit on us as a people, man. Read. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit. Turn to verse 19. Verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Read. Which are these? Adultery. What? Adultery. Hold on, man. These spirits is on a person walking the flesh. For the love of that money, for the love of their status. To, to be perceived as something that you're not. That comes with that adulterous spirit. Right. Read. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery. What? Adultery. Adulterous spirit, man. Read. Fornication. Read. Uncleanliness. Lasciviousness. Adultery. Witchcraft. Hatred. What? Hatred. The love of that money it causes you to have a hatred. A hateful spirit. Read. Variance. Read. Emulation. Read. Pride. Spirit of wrath. Read. Strife. Read. Sedition. Heresy. Lies. Read. Envy. What? Envy. The love of that money causes you to envy. Read. Murders. Hate your own brother and your sister in his heart. In your heart, man. Read on. Drunkenness. Revealing. And such like. Of thee which I tell you before. As I have also told you. In time past. Read. That they which do such things. Those which do such things, man. Read. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Read on. But the fruit of the spirit is. Love. Joy. Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, read, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And against I such there is no law. That's, right. That's the spirit supposed to be operating in, man. You give a damn about a piece of paper, man. You give a damn about that money. Because right. guess what? As long as I'm doing the will of my God, guess what? He's going to make sure I'm good. He's going to make right. sure my family straight. That's right. Take heed to ourselves, man. A lot of people out there that do anything for that paper, man. They'll do anything for it simply because they got a little faith. Give me Proverbs with the three verse five. Read this up. The book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And lean what? And lean not. Unto thy own understanding. By understanding work for us, Israel, we'll be in a better predicament right now, man. Right. By understanding truly will work for us, man, we'll be in a better predicament. We can't do it. Right. Our understanding has failed us. Because our minds have been destroyed, man. Now, what ought we must to do? I read. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. He shall do what? And he shall direct thy path. God's going to direct our path, man. Right. He's going to make our way straight. He's going to provide for us. He's going to make our ways prosperous. Can't do it by ourselves. Right. Can't do it by ourselves. Give me Galatians 6 and 3. Galatians chapter 6 verse 3. The book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 3. Read. For if a man thinketh himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. He did what? He deceiveth himself. Deceiveth himself. Right, right. We have nothing without our God. That's right. How can we choose a paper over him? Bring it up. How can we choose paper over the love of our brother and our sister? We gotta check ourselves, Israel. We can't serve two masters. Please. You're either gonna submit and love one and despise the other. A real righteous Israelite, we're gonna choose our God. That's right. right. 
Because all is vanity. We all going to have to die one day. We ain't never going to be taking the riches with us, man. Right we ain't going to be able to take nothing here with us. That's right. got to make sure you're doing the will of your father before he requires of thee. That's right. Before he put your lights out and require you. Before you have to go before him. And then, nope, shall I won. Thank you.